Ah, oh. George Washington, your humble servant. We are at a building that bears my name and honors a group of extraordinary men. They were kings, generals, scientists, artists, philosophers, business tycoons, astronauts, literary giants, 13 of the founding fathers of these United States of America, including myself, the first president of the United States. Well, that should have been accomplishment enough, but these men wanted to do more. Since the first Grand Lodge was formed in England back in 1717, the members of the Masonic fraternity have been united by a driving desire to make a difference in a world where good often seemed to be in short supply. But you do not have to be an eminent statesman or a Fortune 500 CEO to become a Freemason. Masons come from a wide variety of economic and political backgrounds. They are all men of faiths, but this is not a religious organization. Freemasonry is largely about searching, searching for ways to become better husbands, fathers, friends, and citizens. It's also about giving back. In North America alone, Masons donate over $2 million a day to charity of our two million dollars each and every day. For any man seeking to improve his life, the Brotherhood of the Masons is an inspired choice. And yet, within that elite organization, there is a group who originally came together to simply enjoy a little high-spirited fun and without losing sight of that goal, developed what became known as the world's greatest philanthropy, Shriners Hospitals for Children. They are the Shriners. It gives you a good feeling. You feel it all the way down from your gut all the way up, and to see a kid come up and give you a hug, you, you don't have anything better than that. That's the reason I joined the Shriners, is, is because of all the fun the Shriners have. Always have a lot of fun. We have fun with a purpose, and our purpose is children. It's just a really neat uh, brotherhood, and, uh, and, and I'll be a member the rest of my life. That's what I love about the most, the camaraderie. Um, Everybody is like family almost. It will change your life forever. It's nothing like it, the greatest thing in the world. Are you looking for more in your life? Do you want to do something different, something fun, but deeply worthwhile? Are you ready to develop into a leader in your community? Are you ready to realize all that you can be to maximize all of your strengths? Hi, my name is Richard Tyson. You may well know me as an actor in films like Black Hawk Down, Three O'Clock High, and Kindergarten Cop. And in most movies, I play the bad guy. But in real life, I play a good guy because I'm a Shriner. Now, I want to ask you, why are you not already a Shriner? Let me introduce Major Mark Miles. I'm an active duty officer. I'm a major in the United States Army. I'm also a Shriner. I've come to belong to the Clown Unit and to the Legion of Honor Unit, who is responsible for guarding and posting our, our nation's colors. I find the two dovetail uh, quite nicely because the military teaches you to be upstanding citizens, uh, honest, forthright, builds character, and demands that you, uh, you, you honor your word, that you are a person of principle. And those are exactly the things that the Shrine looks for as well. Every Shriner I know, every Mason I know, is man of integrity, and the same thing with the military. I see our soldiers and I see the values that they hold dear. That's what we fight for, that's what we live for, and that's the way the Shriners are. And they're a great group of individuals. They're all men of character. They're all men of honesty and integrity. And I will tell you, it's by far the finest organization I think I've ever been involved with. Look, before we move on, I know you're asking yourself, what's with the funny looking hats? Well, it's actually a fez. And when you see a fez, you know there's a Shriner underneath it. And that's a good thing. Let me tell you how that happened. It all started in New York City in the 1870s at the Knickerbocker Cottage a restaurant favored by the city's masons. It was here that the well-known actor William Florence and the prominent physician Walter Fleming 
decided to form a separate group just to have a little fun and a little fellowship. That was the age of exploration, and the style of the times was one of adventure. So in keeping with that fashion, Fleming and Florence adopted the flamboyant style of the mysterious East. And thus was born the ancient Arabic order of the nobles at the mystic shrine for North America, known today as Shriners. Original membership, 13 men. Master Masons, all. The emphasis on friendship and frivolity quickly encouraged others to join in the fun, allowing the Shriners to grow rapidly by forming international temples or chapters. And as they did, more and more members expressed a desire to be of a greater service to their communities. In 1920, the governing body of the nearly 400,000 Shriners came together and decided to focus their efforts on helping children. And so in 1922, the Shriners opened their first hospital in Shreveport, Louisiana, designed specifically to help children suffering from the debilitating effects of polio. From this single facility, there would arise an international pediatric hospital system known and revered around the globe, Shriners Hospitals for Children. Thanks to the incredible amount of time, effort, and money that has been invested, Shriners Hospitals for Children is now known as the world's greatest philanthropy. But the Shriners still have a lot of fun. A lot of the activities that we do, uh, number one, of course, is we try to support our hospital and our children that are in our hospitals, and that's our main cause. The other thing is just to have a lot of fun. And since I've been in in 1997, I've met some of the best people that I've ever going to meet in my entire life. We have a blast. You meet people from all over. It's just a family, and they'll come up to you and talk to you. It's just a great feeling. The Shrine is, is having fun with a purpose. And myself, I play in a drum corps. The fellow over there is playing the bass drum. We met in Vancouver. We're here in Tampa. I live in Canada. He lives in southern Illinois. And we see each other and we know each other. That's the type of fellowship that you develop because you meet people all over the United States and North America. That's the fun part. Nothing but fun. If I didn't have fun, I wouldn't be doing it. I have fun every time I get together with these guys, no matter where we are in the network we're doing. Did you know Shriners skydive? Well, some of them do. I don't. They scuba dive, they race cars. Hey, do you like to fish or play golf? Ride a motorcycle or a horse? If you like photography or even bagpipes, the Shriners are all doing that. Come on down and join us. Shriners are a part of the Masonic family. And so to become a Shriner, you must first be a Master Mason. Then you have the opportunity to join a fraternity that has included some of the best-known names in politics, like Canadian